Hello, welcome to Vlog Harvest Toys, and we're going to do a little bit of a look around the room. Come, come on, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, so yes, a um, bit of a different room tour today. I'm going to do a bit of a vlog, a bit of a room tour. So let's have a look around. Let's see what we can see. So here we have um, my DVD collection. It's, it's growing. It's all over the place. This is... Uh, I'll go slowly. I'll go slowly there. <laughs> this is uh, my main collection that's been there a while. Some PlayStation games down there and... CDs, um, there's some more in there, there's lots in there, I've got lots everywhere, just, um, yeah, it's outgrowing my <laughs> my room at the moment, so um, I do, this is one of the reasons why I've done this um, room tour, is, oh, there we go, is uh, we do have the new table that I was talking about, and I, yeah, I've, I've had to get some microfiber because you can see how shiny it is. So I'm having to wipe it all the time. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a bit shorter than the table I had before, uh, but a bit wider. So I've pushed that back. As you can see, there's just a lot of crap on there that needs sorting out. Um, there is oh, this. Most of this just needs sorting out, to be honest with you. So this is not part of my collection. This obviously I've got the Enterprise. I'll show you in a bit. We've got the they got the 3D printer there. Um, it's just a work in progress at the moment. Um, I did I did get this bag of stuff from my mum's and uh, I found me Back to the Future novel, original, and a Ghostbuster figure. But yeah, this um, I've moved my PlayStation down here. Um, I've actually put my PlayStation 4 on eBay. I'm keeping PlayStation 3 because I was gifted that. That's that's. I'm going to use that as a, the Blu-ray player, so uh, uh, for now I'm just going to get rid of the PlayStation 4 because I'm not playing on much. I've got my Mega Drive, Mega, Mega Drive games are down here, in there, which I'm quite disappointed by the dimensions of this table actually, because um, I, I'm having to put my games in that way, and I wanted to put them straight so I knew what I, what I had, but anyway, uh, we've got a little storage thing there. Where I'm gonna just keep all my mats and everything for when I do film anything. The arm's still there, um, so when I do actually film anything like maybe uh, Night Rider, I'm gonna get the mat out and put it on there. Uh, just a few bits in there. Vader. <laughs> the drawer, which has got all my crap in now. All my crap, because the, the table I had before, all my crap was underneath and it looked really bad. So that's one of the reasons why I've got this. I'm not. I'm not too happy with the drawer to be honest with you there's a the cloth to keep it a bit uh, to keep it shiny for now <laughs> so yeah I'm just um, not happy with the drawer because it's a bit short we do have two we've got one at the other side but obviously I can't get to it because of that so I need to sort something out there but I would like to have had just one one drawer to come out this way but never mind we will sort that out so yeah, with 3D printer there, uh, I moved it round from there to there, and uh, again, it's just a work in progress is all this at the moment. Um, give me some, if, if you've got any ideas, let me know what you, what you think. Um, the funny thing is, I mean, look at it, it's all, it's just figures all over the place. It's, it's just figures and DVDs and oh, just... Uh, figures that I haven't even unboxed yet. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we've got this table that was round here. We've got a few bits on here. I keep my uh, my guides on there as well. But uh, my Boba, there's my main guides that I use for my videos. Um, quite interesting. It's a bit of a mess in there. That's a that's where my printer is, and uh, we've got the desk that needs sorting out. Everything's a mess at the moment, unfortunately. There's my uh, survival kit. Love that. Just posters. Uh, I will show you. I have put these up now. I do have the Dengar, and that one I found. 
I didn't know I didn't know existed. And I'll have that. So I've got the Palatoy adverts. So any one any ones that I need now, I don't know where the hell I'm gonna put because uh, I've no rooms room, no space on the on the wall for anything like that. So yeah, um, when I do my live streams, obviously the camera's here and it's looking back on my background, but I do have a fish eye lens and I've had a couple of visitors lately saying, oh, it's a bit smaller than I expected than I saw, I thought. But yeah, it's, uh, it is because I use a fish eye lens on the camera. So it does look a little bigger. So yeah, it's a bit like a bit of a TARDIS really. So we've got Lego. Lego at the bottom. You can't really see at the moment, but uh, do have all the the Marvel minifigures. We got a bat, a bat cave with some boys figures in there. We got uh, Homelander, Starlight, and Black Noir. A couple of Batmobiles, and then the next shelf up is just a bit of a display shelf for the background. Uh, all sorts in there, we've got a bit of vintage, a bit of vintage case there, we've got a vintage X-Wing. Uh, we've got a vintage 12 inch Vader, got a couple of uh, Bespin looks. I love Bespin look, that is my favourite. It's my favourite vintage figure, but it's probably one of my favourite characters. So yeah, keep a few of those. And I've got the helmet as well. That helmet is absolutely brilliant. I've bought a couple of these uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron things as well. I bought the uh, the Scout Walker as well because I do like the Scout Walker. And my favourite vehicle is the uh, the speeder bike. And I can stand that up now. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, speeder bike. I've got a couple of those, different variations done videos on that if you want to check that out it does have a metal the engine is metal as opposed to plastic which is pretty cool so the mini rigs uh, my figures haven't really changed I don't think then we've got more or less the same figures uh, I don't know if I showed you the, the small head hand that I got first one I've ever ever had the blue Sabre Luke um, I'd have changed the look original uh, because that's got brown hair now as opposed to the uh, blonde one I had. So I think most of them are exactly the same as the last time. Um, did you know my weapons got, I don't need four blasters. Uh, one for, one for him. Uh, one for Lando. One for Luke that's on the speeder bike, and um, I think we need the black one for uh, the airwing pilot as well. And I've got the Ewoks, but I do need a bow for Warwick. So there's the other Luke playing the Space Invaders. Uh, my signed figures got Brian Blessed, got Billy D, got Daisy, and Corley. Boba Fett there, you can just see that, it's very, very small, very nice man. Jeremy Bullock, um, Dave Prowse, Peter Mayhew, Vinnie Baker, Anthony Daniels, Paul Blake, Chris Bond was a Stormtrooper, Julian Glover, Me Taylor. I do obviously have uh, Gary Fisher, but we'll come on to that. We'll come on to that. Yeah, so I've just got a little bit, bit of bloody junk on there as well. I really need to sort all this out. <laughs> I really do. It's a bit of a mess. Let's get on to uh, to, to layer then. Um, uh, nothing really changed on the layer shelf, I don't think. I did find my Echo Base uh, layer badge. I think that's the only thing that's gone on there since last time. I 
still donate. I actually donated the black layer blaster that went missing, but uh, I do have the blue one. If anybody wants to swap, if anybody needs to blow one, they've got a black one spare. That'd be nice. <laughs> Obviously, money got your way as well. Uh, we've got the layer posters and the Tracy Elden um, was a stunt woman for uh, for Carrie. We've got her autograph there as well. So yeah, um, just a lot of Princess Layers basically. And we do have the cardboard cut out as well. So going down, um, we do have the Playmobil shelf, which we've got the, the Aston, the Ecto, the DeLorean and the 18 van. And a couple of vintage Playmobil people there. We do obviously have the Enterprise, which I have over these so yeah, <laughs> the crew are all stunned, unfortunately. I don't need to put some more batteries in there or oh, try and find a cable because I've got that now closer to the where I can plug it in. So I need I need I don't need the cable for that so I can keep it running. That would be pretty cool. I'd like that. But yeah. I've not actually done a full review on that. Not done a full review on that. Um we've got it's a bit of a Star Trek thing going on. I've got some more Star Trek figures coming. I think we've got the whole lot coming. And a card of Decker. That should be coming very shortly. So I think I'll have an extra Spock. Uh, the Ertl, the Ertl ones, I love these er these Ertl ones. This, even though it's a wrong colour, I remember getting that. And these Corgi Klingons. Absolutely brilliant. And that's come off there. Uh, that back. There we go. Uh, the Reliance probably. I think I think the the refit Enterprise is my favourite ship, but the Reliance is very close there. Uh, so we've got a few Enterprises there. We've got Kirk and Khan and Spock there as well. We've got Yennefer from The Witcher. We've got Christine. Love Christine. I've read that book so many times. So we've got Six Million Dollar Man, Maskatron and Oscar, and his uh, pod. Do we need Jamie? Jamie Summers and Bigfoot, obviously. Um, some hot toys. Scarlet and Scarlet. <laughs> we've got a black. We've got a couple of Black Widows there. We've got we've got a bit of a Black Widow thing going there. I've got a. I've actually got. That as well. That uh, I want to put out on display. I could have like a little Black Widow display because you'll see later on in the cabin I've got a lot of Black Widow figures. We got one of the uh, Galaxy's Edge Coke bottles, the Lego Aston. There. We got the guys are there. Look at that. We got a bit of Dan. I've lost the base. I don't know where the base is. It's on down here somewhere. It's just, as I say, just. I have just got so much stuff, it's unbelievable. Um, this is my record player, which I can't get to because all my toys are on top of it. Iron Giant and my Evil Knievel. They've got one Jamie Summers there, I can't <laughs> uh, I have moved things around, so there's another reason I'm doing this video. So we've got the Back to the Future shelf has moved it, moved here, moved up. Uh, we've got the Ghostbusters shelf down here. Bit bare for now. I mean, there's lots of things at the background. There are a lot of things in there. Um, but it's just freeing a bit of space up so I can add stuff later on. Maybe. We've got plenty, plenty of stuff in there. I mean, I could. I've put. I've put the Ectomobile there. I could put the the Playmobil one in there, but I just don't want to. Oh, I didn't notice Winston's falling over. I'll sort that out. Um, Marvel shelf, yeah, um, I should really I move that up, I, th I think, I don't know, I need to sort it, I need to sort it all out because we've got, we've got a uh, Star Wars shelf down here, it's got lots of goodies in, but it doesn't get seen because because of all my stuff that I'm, all the stuff I'm selling is here, is here. <laughs> um, 
stuff. I mean, it's not. It's not all. It's not all. It's not all stuff that's selling. It's just stuff that I need to sort out. I mean, I've got me. I've got me Ahsoka's here. These need to go onto the Ahsoka shelf, which I'll show shortly. But I've got. I've got me me Dave Prowse figure here. There's me Dave. The, the figure from Dave Prowse. I got this certificate for. And I've got the Mailaway Emperor there. I need cases for those. So there's something else I need to I need to pull my finger out and get it done. Um, I just need to sort everything out. I <laughs> just stuff up. Just stuff everywhere. And there's all my books as well. If you want to look through my books, there's uh, all sorts of different books in there. This is my bookshelf which is just over over overstocked with books and I don't know, just just a mess. It just really is a mess. If anybody wants to come and buy the lot, <laughs> please feel free. Please, please feel free. These these are the parcels that will be uh, telling you about what I've what I've sold. We'll do a bit of a vlog. We'll do that now, actually. Let's do that now. Yeah. So the things that I have sold, um, the countdown is is on for celebration. And I need to make some money. And I, I've been doing pretty well. You can probably see all the packages there that I've, I have to send out. Um, I've done pretty pretty well last week or so. Yeah, yeah. So I have these to stream now. Um, this is I bought this for a pound uh, on the car boat, and I, it was full of those little puppy puppy in my pockets. So I sold that for uh, twenty pound, and then I bought <laughs> I bought a Cyberman helmet. You've also got to buy a Cyberman helmet from the car boat, haven't you? Uh, I think I bought it for four pound, three pound, four three pound, four pound, something like that. Anyway, uh, ten pound. Not a, not a brilliant margin, but you know I, I got rid of it straight away. These Italian movie posters, yeah, I will, I will tell you, yeah, I sold those. Um, I've still got the Flash Gordon. Uh, I got forty-five pound. There were one, two, three, four, five, which were real. They were really good, and I've had them. For, I've had them for a couple of years, to be honest with you. I've got them at the prop store auction. Um, I've just just had a new catalogue from them from the, the poster auction. Uh, so yeah, I've had those a couple of years. Uh, I've got the one I wanted, and I've sold the rest. I think I did that on a uh, on a best offer though. Uh, I think I've had it, I had it for a bit, a bit more for a while. So I just, you know what? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get rid of, rid of things, so I can not necessarily buy more things, just have the space and make the place look tidy. <laughs> so, so yes. Uh, next up, we have the Lego Pirate Saber Island, which I'm very, very, very happy about because it cost me three pound. Three pound in the charity shop. It was in the window. I went and bought it. I built it. I played with it. <laughs> I played with it. I built it, and I think I put it on for fifty pound, and I got forty-seven pound best off. And you know, you know what? For three pound, forty-seven pounds is good. <laughs> I could return. Uh, next up, we've got the Young Indiana Jones DVDs. Which um, I kind of did want to keep myself, to be honest with you. I would, I would have liked to have kept them myself because I've not watched all of them, and I would love to have gone through them. But there were three, three volumes, and I paid sixteen pound for three volumes. I paid, I went and, and found the the four movies as well for something like a pound, two pound, just to put in with the bundle, just to sell it, and I sold those for fifty five pound. Uh, I paid sixteen pound for so. Talking what eighteen pounds to fifty-five pounds again. It's a good profit. Um, the Droid Factory is something that I did buy, and I was going to get all the parts for it, but at the end of the day, it was just sat there. I wasn't really looking for the bits. There was there's nothing there. It's just the base and the box, and I, I got forty pounds for that. I think I paid thirty thirty-five pounds. So no, not a, not a profit on that. It's just. Just, again, just getting rid of things. Next up, we did make a profit on this is the Harry Potter Club, which is pretty good. I saw it in the uh, cabinet in the charity shop, and it was twenty-five pound. I said, "Is there a box? No box." 
So I said, right, fair enough, uh, would you take £20? And I went, yeah, go on then. So £20 turned into £60. And yeah, that is there, uh, that's bomb proofed. That is absolutely bomb proofed. Yeah, so um, that might not get there, but I have insured it to the hilt. Just in case, I've absolutely bomb proofed it, so it should be okay. It should be okay. Uh, next up is the Batman 89, which I finally just got finished the last couple of weeks. I paid £23 for the lot, uh, but I've read them now. Again, it's just a matter of just getting rid of things. Just just getting rid. and They don't take a lot of space up, I know, but yeah, I do have the... Superman 78 if anybody's interested in those and then um, finally for today we do have the Barcelona shirt that I think I paid £5 for uh, £18 football shirts I always get the football shirts with the big team it doesn't really matter about the big team I don't think just any football shirts if they're in good condition they will sell they will sell so there we go that is I sold this month and then we have the droids reissues not really the retro collection is it it's kind of the retro collection isn't it but this, uh, the only card of figure there had what by and the flash garden I've sold all the other Italian posters I got rid of I forgot finally got rid of them all I only really wanted them for the flash garden and uh, yeah, so they've all gone, apart from Flash. So here's Jabba's Palace, all vintage figures apart from Leia. The only Leia that's, that's not vintage in the, oh, and the, and the playset obviously, but all the rest of that is absolutely 100% vintage. If you last 17 in there, there's a bit of money there, isn't there? Right next we've got, which I'm very excited about, is my uh, my Night Rider shelf. I've had to buy, I've had to pile um, kit on top of kit on top of kit. I could put another one on there. I could, I could put the model and then the cargo one and make it a real pile if I had the space. Uh, I've got kit and car there. I would like some more cars, like a bigger version of car. Uh, we've got a few Michael Knights as well. We have to do, I suppose. Um, there's a concept kit, there's a matchbox kit there. Model, turbo boost, nine industries. Uh, we do have the DC and you want to go on there as well. So God knows, I might have to move the Night Raider out of there, but you know, it is as it is. So down to the Sort of Batman shelf, a bit of DC as well, because we've got. I've had to put Superman on there as well, but it's got uh, a lot of Batmobiles. Mostly Batmobiles, we've got Batcopter and a Batboat on there as well, and Batarang. And then we've got to the bottom shelf, which is in the dark, unfortunately. <laughs> Very sorry about that. I could put the light on, but. There we go. We've got some vintage indie. We've got three vintage indies figures which I would love to get the the full collection of those I do love those the truck I adore that is a favorite scene of any movie ever Rizzo Stark is my favorite movie of all time but that scene is the best scene we've got Tom Inch in there we've got some Indiana Jones we've got another figure there carded we've got a, another truck in that uh, box there we've got the map room which are 3d printed i don't want to get the original but uh, that's for now that's good enough for me um i've got a couple of lookings there and I, if anybody's got lookings please let me know because i would love some lookings i like i love the nostalgia of looking at those looking 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 at the looking uh Battlestar galactica got a few bits there we've got a buck rogers figure we've got an auto man I've got a few bits I've been sent. I've got a Fisher Price there. And there we go. I've got some nice stuff there. So let's move over to the cabinet now. And for the risk of having glare, let's open the door. 
So we're gonna go. Not a lot has um, moved in here. Um, it's just full of Matchbox now. I do have a few more of the Adventure 2000. Uh, this, I, think, I think I just need one more vehicle, which is really rare to get. There's a missile launcher. It's really hard to get. Um, I've got a couple of treasure hunt hot wheels in there. And uh, some A-team vans. Freya Took, we've got a GFK limo. And the Matchbox fork truck, which is going out. It's going out to... Uh, one of my friends who really wants that, so it's going out there when I uh, when I get some more stuff together. I usually what I usually do is I get a few things together and then send them out. Cause uh, it's no point just sending one thing, little thing out. So we've got some more TV Hot Wheels here. We've got a couple of X Jets and a Turtle van. Uh, I've got a, I think that's green light, isn't it? Uh, I would love to a lot more green light. I've got the bullet. Uh, I've got the carded Batmobile there. We've got a lot more Batmobiles on here. Um, Penguin and a Joker van in there as well. We've got the old mini helicopter, Batcopter and the Batboat. Um, we've got Chit Chit Bang Bang, which is a reissue. We've got the original Buck Rogers Starfighter. Uh, we've got this is the corgi shelf. That what that one is the, the uh, matchbox shelf. This is the corgi shelf. I do have a sign that I'm going to put in there. Our 3D printed, but it's just fitting it in right now. Um, so we've got corgi Blackpool boss. We've got a reissue of the DB. Well, it's, it's supposed to be the DB5, but they do the, the use a DB4. But uh, that's good enough for me because I do have. That is the one I had as a kid, the DB5. Uh, it's just, obviously it's a bigger version than that one. I've got the Moonraker shuttle. We've got the Spiral of Me Lotus. I've got a couple of Buck Rogers miniature Corgi Junior Starfighters. We've got the. Why does why does Superman need a Starship? I don't know. Anyway. Um, We've got the Thunderbird 2, original dinky Thunderbird 2, with the Thunderbird 4 inside there. Uh, we do have some more James Bond in there, professionals. Some more Batmobiles, lots of Batmobiles. Hot Wheels Batmobiles. So many Batmobiles. So we've got, we've even got like a black tuned version and a blue tuned version and just different colours, they're just, just, I mean, those two are exactly the same, but they're just the different paintwork. Uh, you know, we go, we have a go. The Batwing, I've got three versions of the Batwing. I don't know if you can see it back there. I've got three different coloured versions of the Batwing. And we, we have a go at um, Hasbro for uh, repainting stuff and Things like repackaging the Hot Wheels to it all the time. There is the the Batman, but they've just brought a grey version out. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying. It. I've, I've, I've drawn the line. I mean, look at that. Look at the Batman at the bottom, like the burgundy colour, and then that's almost exactly the same, but it's not. <laughs> We've got. We even got a '66 Batmobile in metal colour. I don't know. I don't know. That needs. That's moving. So yeah, I just I need to cut down on my Batmobiles. Really have I must have at least sixty Batmobiles. Right, we're going to the lady shelf now. As I said earlier, we've got a lot of Scarlet's a lot of Black Widows. Too many Black Widows. She could have a shelf by herself, couldn't she? But yeah, we do have a lot of the Marvel ladies and DC and Star Wars, I suppose. In there. So we go up to the Palatoy shelf. And again, this hasn't changed all that much. 
I don't think there's anything being added. No new pocketeers, unfortunately. I'm after a few more, but uh, I think people are getting to recognise how much they're worth now. Uh, some of the card backs I've got as well. I've got quite a bit, quite a few card backs as well. Let's see, okay, fire and blow up effect. Um, I've got another hot toy over there. That was really nice actually, the ale. I might have to get some more of that. Got a Wamper, we've got the V Funkos. Yes, I do have Funkos. The only V merchandise you can really officially get. Apart from the visitor, the Tommy's visitor, which I'm really looking forward to. I really want to get hold of that. That picture, by the way, is uh, the Royal Mile, Edinburgh. Because I love Edinburgh. Right, we'll go on to uh, where I should put those Ahsokas. <laughs> I've, got, I've got all these Ahsokas on here and I need to put those on as well. But there's also lots of different things. We've got Amelia up there. There's some more Funkos here. Some more Ahsokas all over. Um, so yeah, we've got a bit of a Amelia focus going on here as well. We've got lots of figures we've got. I would like to get that signed. If I could get that signed, I would be happy. We do have two, two signatures from her. One on her can we come one picture, but I want one on the figure. So that's what I collect. I want autographs on the figures. Uh, we've got to do Dr. Aphra, but I'm after I, I want the six inch Black Series Dr. Aphra. That's going for stupid money. And then we do have Haley Apple as well, which uh, fits in with Captain Carter. Yeah. But I think if uh, Ahsoka is quite high up, but I think I've got more Black Widow stuff than Ahsoka, marginally. I don't know because I've got a lot of Amelia stuff as well. <laughs> and when um, when Secret Invasion comes out, there'll be a uh, Marvel Legends figure of a Walla. So that'll be cool. So there we Amongst the boxes, amongst the empty boxes, I do have my uh, original comics on the wall. This is um, something I've just put on my, myself. I'm quite proud. A new rail for my t shirts. Um, I did have a, a freestanding rail, but I've put one on the wall now, so it's given me a bit more space, I think. Um, I've been, th that, there's a table. <laughs> there is a table from the room. I've repurposed it for in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Again, that is a work in progress. So we've got a uh, few bits on here, a few DVDs, books uh, that I am reading. I've got, I've got a pile of books here that I'm reading as well. I'm reading like 20 books at once. But we've got the uh, the episode one collection. There's the episode one collection. You see there's three spots there for the three figures that I do need. The damaged destroyed droid, the dirty battle droid, and what will go there so that'll be all those I don't need the other four accessories but I know how expensive those are so I'm not really expecting to get those but uh, yeah I really I really like I love the I love the cards I love the cards so that's why they've gone up here so I just need the three now um, next generation I love those figures as well. I've got Locutus there. I do love those. So there we go. From where my desk start is, there it is. I know, I know, it should be on display. I need to I need to take it down. I've taken the canopy off because uh, I don't want it to get y'all in this underneath. So that is gonna get sold. I need to take it down. And I would like I would love a box to be honest with you. 
there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you um, will like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, if you liked the uh, bit of a vlog, it started counting down to celebration. I'm trying to make as much money as I can so I can spend as much money as I can down at celebration. I'll need a lot of money though. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it out and join me. I'm going to be doing more live streams uh, I promise I just had a bit of a bad news last week and it just hit me and um, yeah it's just it will be it will it'll probably get worse actually it'll probably get worse uh, but anyway it's life life is shit innit <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm gonna go before I start to uh, start uh, blubbing but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that so thank you for watching please join me next time may the toys be with you